Hey there and welcome to yet another session on Byju's Career Scope brought to you by Byju's Excel Masterclass. I hope you attended the masterclass session where we explored the different processes involved in 3D printing and understood so much with Rajiv and Dev. Today as an expert here we have Satish Kumar. Satish Kumar has had over 15 years of experience in the world of manufacturing and for the past 8 years he's been in the world of 3D printing as well. Satish you have three patents to your name in this industry that is so inspiring. Um uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself please so that our students know who they're talking to when they're exploring about careers in 3D printing. Sure. Hi everyone I'm Satish I'm responsible for Statasys application engineering India and Southeast Asia. I primarily help my customers to be in the forefront of technology. That means I help my customer to select and write 3D printing technology with materials to be used for their applications. That is super duper cool. So we did explore quite a few things during the master class, but can you walk us through the process from you know the ideation or the design all the way towards the printing when it comes to 3D printing, please? Yeah, sure. So there are many phases in way of the product life cycle. People do from a general ideation, that is what sketching. Like take an example of a car. A car immediately don't come up here. So first we start with kind of a basic design sketch. Then this design sketch transform in the way for engineering. Then they go for kind of a build. That is actually that people do the test the car, and then they can able to make it for launching the car. So in the part of ideation, people do sketch. Right now people see. So is this what is like concept art and stuff? Exactly, it is okay. a concept art, and some of them have very interest in how a sports car appear, how a sedan appear. There are many themes to the car arts. Right. So people develop those cars and. they see right now in 2D here 3D printing helps them they can visualize in three dimensional so they can take the concept very easily that is so beautiful can you give us at the outset the reason that we're doing this activity called the career scope is so that our students can also pursue avenues in the field of 3D printing can you give us a sense of the different kinds of job opportunities that exist there i can able to make it in way like two aspects either you can able to develop directly in the way of 3D printing then you can able to support for individual verticals otherwise some of them will be have more interest on vertical side like an aerospace engineer marine engineer or even some of have artistic or fashion design into that one you can develop your skills very specific to those medium and you can associate it 3d printing to enhance them as an example aerospace guys can able to develop their skills and they can able to use 3d printing develop prototyping manufacturing even testing the parts so it can help them in advance in both the way oh, wow so with regard to job opportunities and interest areas whatever you are interested in you keep pursuing that and keep in mind that 3d printing is a wonderful sort of horizontal tool set that can help you up your game no matter what you design or desire or interest sir in um what can some of our students who are interested in the world of 3d printing do as school students what kind of opportunities do they have from their uh, school from in that age group what kind of opportunities do we have i highly recommend them to be have more strong in their basics like focus on their stem they can able to go with their physics chemistry maths or even in their computer science into that one later on the phase they can able to go in specific to the medium of the subject either if it is a chemical chemistry they can able to do material research and this material research they can associate it to the industry requirement they can pursue his career even in 3d printing uh, just want to understand you mentioned quite a few things in terms of fashion and aerospace and materials and chemistry so much is involved in 3d printing right so as school children i think you got to understand your basics as satish had mentioned and also don't think of craft as time pass right craft the work that you do there the jugaad skills that you pick up there and the interest that you develop there is what will help you materialize a career in this world of 3d printing as well right great um if let's say some of our students are really interested in this world of 3d printing and some of them want to pursue that what kind of let's say post school say degree or post graduation and things what kind of um, courses should they pursue uh, in the general world of education yes so primarily for the students who already completed their plus 2 or something they have been entering in kind of engineering kind of thing so they can also learn along with like a mechanical engineering they can learn along with a cad software and they can associate it to understand about the printing technology so parallel they can also start learn about this technology into that one 
So it is not only limited to mechanical engineering, like electrical engineering, or even for chemi- chemistry. The people who have been pursuing it are that one, or computer science engineering. I, I'm, I'm assuming even biotechnology, because instrumentation in today's world, there's a lot of bioprinting and all that happening as well. Even for medical devices manufacturing, that is what really helping a lot of things in saving your life for everybody. So engineers helps a lot, even with medical industries also into that one. So that is really a limitless potential with 3D printing capabilities. So that is we no need to limit ourselves with vertical wise. So any vertical everything that are associated kind of 3D printing to help for them and enhance them. It's beautiful. So any field in the world of engineering is definitely something that you could pursue. And for that, get your basics right. And what you're also saying is think of computer aided design and design so that 3D printing can take their stream over to the next level in that space. If our students wanted to start out in the world of design or digital design towards 3D printing, uh, we'd explore something called computer-aided design during the master class as well. How easy is that and how could our students explore that? Uh, yeah, actually kind of computer-aided design, CAT software, generally people call that one. So it is right now very easy in YouTube and a lot of software also have advancement into that one. And so right now, YouTube reference videos also available for students can able to refer. And sometimes you no need to do all the CAD also. There are some images that also you can convert in the form of CAD. You can also build into that one. There are a lot of oh, like with the AI happening. and all yeah, those Yeah, enhanced, many things and even many some open source also available for them to do. And reference courses also available by the way many social media beautiful hey and during the session as well we tinkered with tinker cad and there is a stratasys cad tool as well that you were mentioning grab cad if i'm not wrong now i can go online i can go to thingiverse and download some uh, sort of 3d models or i could go design my own 3d models on free tools like tinker cad but this is only to satisfy my own fancy right and i was asking satish if stratasys has some opportunities that us or you guys if you want to pick up this world of 3d and design can partake in to actually make meaningful designs and you had mentioned something about competitions could you throw some light on that please so what happened many times the student don't have able to understand what is a real world situation uh, so for that reason stratasys our company called grabcat that's our software based for actually all preprinting software everything happen in that one so we it's grabcat we also do a challenge so this challenge is open to everyone and we also post it in the website actually. So sometimes we are associated with NASA, sometimes we are associated with Airbus and most of the GE and all the leading companies into that one. So this course anybody can participate and by the way it's a real world situation. Oh, so wow. people can understand how a part to be designed. Assuming a rocket, they want to make a bracket in a lightweight design. They give all the requirements. So people can participate for the design and sometimes you will get free software also to work for that one as a demo license. So no need to worry about for that one. So the interest, it will help you to attend those kind of real world situation. And by the way, such competition, you will also with kind of a very grand prize also over there. Interesting. So there's some nice carrots at the end of the line as well. You've had such a wonderful sort of spectrum of experience. I, I know that you started out in traditional manufacturing as well and you've moved into 3D. Has there been any sort of really inspiring or jaw-dropping 3D print experience that you've had? Yes, I started my career with manufacturing but when I moved to 3D printing, I'm really wondered with many of the case studies, activities happen in the 3D printing. One of the things I would like to say is mainly from a, a hot which helped you for a patient operation, first in the kind of its world, for a girl called Mia. So there is a kind of a complexity in her heart. So similarly, so the doctor did kind of a 3D printing from their uh, scale version of their heart. They understand the complexity that helps them. They can able to save a life. So this is one of the time always I think about 3D printing is not only for engineering. It also makes a life better in that way. And other things actually. One is actually in the health side. In movie industries, when I'm still looking into that one, the first Iron Man suit was designed with our 3D printer. Oh, Iron and Man a, suit was designed with yes, 3D printing. Wow. That one. Completely that mechanism of the way how he operates. And from Robocop and also from the very well-known with uh, all the... Some Jurassic. of our children might be too young to know what Robocop is. That used to be the cool thing in my growing up days. Yeah. And for very well-known like the Jurassic Park, the dinosaur character's creation. So this also they did with kind of a 3D printing. And especially for animals or everything, the more realistic is from the eyes. Mm. So we use our polyjet as a technology where we really print the eyes of the creatures. That is look so more cool. realistic. For them. So we had actually done a masterclass session on animatronics as well. So in that world of film as well, there's so, so many inspiring stories where 3D printing comes into play. Uh, let me just quickly think this through. So you said different fields of interests that you have in school, get your basics right, play with arts and craft. And as you're 
thinking about a future in this world, you can think about different streams of engineering and whatever stream of engineering you choose or whatever stream of profession you choose, think about computer-aided design and think about 3D printing as a mechanism or as a horizontal that will help you take your skills to the next level. That was lovely. Satish, uh, any questions that you have for me or any advice that you have for our students as a closing remark? Yeah, I would not say it's an advice. So always many people ask me how you have been successful into this one. I always suggest them, do what you love and love what you do. That is how I have been taking my career from manufacturing to 3D printing everything. And I'm successful on this one. That is so beautiful. Do, lo do what you love and love what you do. And as you know it, come fall in love with learning. Thank you, Satish. This was amazing. Um, watch out for the next masterclass and the next career scope. We're going to bring so many more opportunities for you as well. Wow, Satish, this was so inspiring. Thank you for opening this whole world of 3D printing out for all of our students. Thank you for this amazing session. These are so cool. You know, this is one of the rockets that we actually printed out yes. in uh, during the masterclass. What are those shades? I mean, we saw all the other things. This is my custom 3D printer made for me. What? Whoa, that looks so cool. Look at the patterns and the way light is playing with it. And I can see Stratus is written out here. Ah. Oh, Satish written out here. That is so cool. It's all 3D printed, custom made for your face. Wow. Awesome.